Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we have game 3, the final one of Farid versus El Bowser. El Bowser will be playing with 16 Panzer on a Maverick income. Farid will be playing 352nd Infantry on a Maverick income as well. This ought to uh, promise a lot of good stuff. Let me just remove the minimap real quick. Uh, I think these divisions are awesome. We don't see often of them. I did try 352nd in the tournament and um, it it did not work. But in QP it really works really well. Um, but yeah, and 16 Panzer is always a fan favorite. So there you go. We have Panzer gonna do coming in half tracks for the deployment. Some Pioneers coming in trucks. Uh, we have the classic 2 machine gun over here. Staff troops are gonna come on the side here. Two machine guns are also going to be put here, but they are one star. So, I mean, these guys should get an advantage unless these guys are MG34, but they're not. They're MG42. Pack 40 is dismantling these trucks over here. He still got his APCR shots. Fokker Wolf A9 is going to... Oh boy, look at that. Two star Fokker Wolf definitely pinning down the Pack 40 like it's nothing. But, uh, you know, it, it might even die now. Uh, this was very, very bold move, I gotta say. But, looks like it will survive after all. Badly damaged, though. Pack 40 is protected by the SZKFZ-222. Still, uh, he will be shooting these support units. Very nice move. 222 is going to move along as well. You can see the machine gun wars going on on both sides. And I think the 222 is going to put a stop to that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, that's going to hurt. There you go. The machine gun war has been won by Bowser. Alright, over here the SZKFZ is doing a hell of a job uh, pinning down these infantry, but there are some Panzer Jaeger 35R that are going to be able to destroy them. These guys are absolute T-34 76's destroyer. They, they do, they're very effective. Another 222 is going to come in here, as well as a recon unit probably going to be sitting there. For now, the battle is pretty much evolving around the clown cars, um, as is expected when you're fighting 16 Panzer. There's a lot of Panzer Jaegers 35. Uh, it uh, they're they're gonna be able to put a stop to uh, the recon cars without costing Farid too much points. They are 25 points, so very cost efficient unit. More Panzer Grenadiers are going to come here, take advantage of Farid uh, or having this flag. Now everything that El Bowser is going to bring in here is going to be very dangerous because of those Panzer Jaeger. These guys, they could kill Panzer IV, uh, kill Grilly, kill these guys, kill these guys. They, they could kill the Stug tree as well from the front. At a close distance. So, you know, 80 bucks unit cannot even face these guys. And there's three of them. Well, he could face them. Um, especially at this distance. It's a little bit more safe. But there's always the risk of him being destroyed. What's going on? Oh, wow. Alright, Farid saw that just in time. He's going to move out. BF-109 bomber is going to be putting uh, the, the P for pain in this pack 40. There you go. Not doing too much damage, but still good enough. Allowing the Panzer Jaeger to move forward. There's still a Grille that will be doing some damage somewhere. Oh yeah, that could destroy it. Oh, he's aiming for the IG-18. Destroys it still. Panzer 35 S Führer coming in. There you go. You see the Stug did receive a little bit of damage. Uh, you can see the damage on it. It is a dangerous field for him. Look at that. 
Who is this guy? Oh, okay. Not much happening over there, so we're gonna concentrate here. Greedy and pack 40 combo is gonna do a lot of damage here for sure. Um, Farid should try to get rid of that, really. If the Stu keeps advancing, yeah, it, I feel like there you go. He's gonna back it up because if he kept advancing toward these guys, definitely could be destroyed. Uh, and look, they're going for the Stu. They're bouncing at this distance, though. Took tree will fire back. Kills it. There's one more here. They're doing a they're doing a lot of suppression. But overall, these guys, you know, they do die one shot from this two. Two two three one here will get destroyed by the Panzer Jaeger. He actually missed his shot, so he backed up. Uh, there you go, there you go. Stuk tree in the open with a recon. And a pack 40, and a machine gun, and a gorilla. It's gonna be really hard for Farid to, to get over this. Alright, kills the back 40, so that's good. Mortar is going to come in. Going to do a little bit of suppression, maybe before these Tassuk start moving in. This guy dies to, uh, I assume, maybe the pack 40. Oh, the Panzer Jaeger here. And half tracks. Oh, he's actually shooting at this too, so he dies. Well, they did try their best, and they were annoying for a while, but Stug Tree overall did, uh, at this distance, would have been pretty hard. No, 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 I refuse. Okay. <laughs> it was the Martyr 2 that destroyed the Tiger. I thought for a second I saw the Panzer Jaeger destroyed it. I was like, wait, I refuse to believe that. And uh, it, it was indeed the Martyr 2. And this is uh, awful for Hell Bowser because this is a 60 point unit. You know, destroying a 120. 130. Yeah, it looks like he got a side shot. Stug as a loader wounded from the pack 40, no doubt. There you go, gets destroyed now. He survived a little bit, but not enough. Tiger is also gonna come down. It's starting to be a little difficult now for El Bowser because he's basically spamming a lot of heavy units, expensive units basically. Uh, the Stug is not a heavy tank, but it is an expensive unit, especially when the enemy is bringing in 35, 60 points uh, units that can effectively kill them. And look at that Martyr 2, now it's going to shoot down the Stug soon. Alright, there you go. Ouch. 
But these were Ostrupen, so it doesn't really matter that much. Grille now dead from the same Martyr 2 that destroyed the Tiger. There's another Tiger coming up there uh, with a pack 40. Two machine guns are still alive. They're going to mow down that lone MG42. There you go. Now it's dead. Tiger recon combo down there in the south. I wonder just how effective that Flak 88 is. I mean, Bowser doesn't have, well, Bowser, well, you know, El Bowser could get a lot of airplane in, uh, but the thing is he hasn't. So far, we've only seen a uh, Fokker Wolf fighter. Sikeungs are dying on the spot. I mean, there's just no way no way this is happening right now. What are we watching? Basically now everyone is dead here on El Bowser's side. There's a four point Panzer Grenadier and while well, some Stump Pioneer just arrived, Stump Pioneer will definitely shred through the Ostruppen, but it's a very, very dangerous place there for for El Bowser. He doesn't own anything really, and he's even losing in points, 1311, uh, because of this being taken. There you go, the flamers down here are doing their job. Thirteen eleven for Farid. A lot of BF-109 coming in and I'm surprised that it is actually Farid who's been uh, spamming air forces. Because when you play 16 Panzer, you expect to be air spammed in the early phase. Uh, they have uh, access to a lot of uh, good fighter bombers, uh, them and 21st Panzer as well. Basically, it's their key to survive in A phase uh, for most people. Um, there's definitely not a lot going on, but that 380 millimeter off map we see might do a lot of damage. It's probably going to be shot here. More Storm Pioneers are being called in, but without the tools to stop. Oh, there you go. He's, oh, my Lord. This almost destroyed it. Oh, my God. Look at that. It almost died from that plane falling on it. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Uh, this is such crap. <laughs> Let's be honest. What are the chances? Um, but there you go. Now this guy needs to stop the BF-109 from, uh, from, from hammering down the hammer. There's a lot of troops here, but, you know, Farid would need some, a little bit of smoke. It is 1410 for him though, so he's not hard pressed to do anything, uh, then sit and relax.
Oh, I feel like nothing is happening. There you go. We can see the off map is moving forward. Uh, there's going to be some pain soon. 30 seconds. Over here, I think Bowser might be a little bit more successful now that he's got AA, uh, some more half track. He's calling in the Hummel. I'm not sure how good that is. Like, what's it gonna kill? Unless he wants to aim for the 88 millimeter mortar. There you go. Oof. Grey actually dies from the Yag Panther there. So uh, we we kind of miss it, but the Yag Panther is actually on the map now. And this is a beast killer. He's going to be able to take care of uh, pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. I was waiting for something to happen. I was just looking down here, waiting. And then this happened out of the blue. Uh, he's definitely going to be able to go against the uh, Tiger E that, that is there. There's a King Tiger coming in already. Oh, there you go. Flak 88. That really destroyed him. All right, very methodical as always with these players. Ah oh man, it looks like uh, it looks like the Panzer thirty uh, thirty five S. Is actually gonna be the one liberating town. Fourteen ten for Farid. Fifteen nine. So we definitely captured uh, the town here. There you go. 35S did put a lot of damage on the Tiger, uh, most likely got it from the side angle. And there you go. Tiger e Tiger H on the on the map. Tiger H has uh, what 200 mil. This guy's got 140 mil. Not enough to kill the tiger from that distance. Fifteen nine for Farid. Two more of Clara coming in. Uh, that will definitely help in the forest. But, uh, I mean, there is a Martyr 2 here. There is a Pack 36, a Pack 40. He's going to have to be very careful with these guys. And the assault in the middle is full blown now. The only thing protecting it are a uh, King Tiger, a Hummel, and a mobile, uh, mobile Wagon. So it's looking pretty bad for Bowser right now, 59 as well. He's bringing in 
some 120 mil mortars, which could be effectively good. Nothing is happening from 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 a caster's point of view. I think uh, from from my point of view, it's just basically uh, we're we're just enjoying the show. We're just enjoying the show. But it is fifty nine for Farid. I don't think Bowser is gonna get back up to that. Ah, oh, yeah, that SPW is gonna die. Did good enough suppression. These guys are still able to land their bombs, so th that's gonna be devastating for for uh, Bowser. And now he lose all units but one in this sector. Uh, oh my god, he's dying left and right. It is not looking good. Now, of course, Farid, of course, Farid cannot really move up here. Uh, there is a King Tiger, after all, but he's he's pretty much locked in place. He's gonna try to go through the forest, which is a good idea. Fifty-nine again. Yeah, 150 versus 155. 16-8 now has Farid captures this. There's a uh, off map here from Farid. It's 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 wasted. It's wasted. He doesn't know that, of course. But it is completely wasted. I think here would have served better purpose, especially with the King Tiger being there. And there you go, guys. Well, basically, Farid just won the tournament games against El Bowser. Hell Bowser did put a great fight in the first game we saw of him, uh, but overall, Farid just took the cake. Bowser invested in a lot of support units while uh, Farid did so much more infantry than Bowser. And overall, it's costing him. We can do nothing but watch. <laughs> there you go. Nice kill there from the Nebel Waffe. 300 mil. Uh, damage the Yak Panther. Uh, not by much. Pretty much just HE shells. Uh, so lots of lots of suppression. Um, yeah. Okay. There you go. Good off map, 300 mil. Fucker Wolf dies, 59, two minutes to the game. This is a wrap. Only Stump Pioneers here to help out. There's a Tiger E also. But I feel like it might be a little bit too far.
And there you go, this 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 off map is gonna be the nail in the coffin. Let's advance here, there's nothing to see. Game is over. Oh wow. Destroyed everything but the Koenig's Tiger. Good on El Bowser for finishing the game, at least, I guess. Um, a little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing, let's be honest. Um, I mean, Farid played really well this game. Uh, but I feel like Bowser didn't play his best on the second and third game. Uh, the, the, the ones where he lost both. Over here, we can see that in the early game, he, he had this. You know, he was trading well. Uh, but then, then it shifted around and it, it was never able to shift back to it. Nice collection here though. Yeah. Gary did good. Took tree as well. MG42 did excellent. Alright guys, well, I hope you've, you've enjoyed this series. Uh, definitely my favorite game of these guys were the first one, full of excitement. The second one was a little bit uh, lesser in my mind. And the third one was just sheer disappointment. Sheer disappointment. But we've had very methodical plays here. Uh, obviously, the both players knew what they were doing. And they were pretty good at it. But unfortunately... For El Bowser, Farid will go up the ranking. It is it is not surprising because Farid is an excellent excellent player, and uh, he often gets on top position. Thank you everyone for watching. Goodbye.